most famous product from this region was Kampot pepper. But the Khmer Rouge made the farmers grow rice instead, and the pepper fields were abandoned. Kampot pepper is about a hundred years of history. Uh, there were still one million poles of pepper or pepper vines in Kampot uh, in the 60s. Jérôme Benazesh has helped re-establish this local cooperative and regards Kampot pepper as as important as fleur de sel. Although highly sought after by discerning chefs, pepper production here is only just re-emerging from that dark past. This was the, the king of peppers, wasn't it, Kampot? It, it, it was, and, and it, is. It, it is still one of the best pepper in the world, you know. Just, just taste, taste this corn, you know, I, it's, I it's absolutely it. wonderful. Uh, it's a really distinct flavor and very, very distinct aroma than from other pepper, you know, very intense flowery taste at the back of your mouth. Often the pepper are very spicy on the tip of your tongue and then, you know, the, 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 the taste stops or, or gets a bit muddy in some, yeah. in some cases. With this pepper, three seconds after the spicy taste, you've got this, you know, free flowery aroma at the back. Get know, a like, Frenchman like, off on taste well, and off we go. <laughs> but... No, it's like, it's, like a good, it's like a good Bordeaux strong tannic wine in the last days here. <laughs> The green peppers are the young fruit of the vine and they're laid out to dry in the sun for three days, depending on the weather conditions, when the husks turn black. Now they're graded by weight by using the power of gravity to select the peppercorns. The heavier ones stay in the basket and they're rated as top quality. Well, we've got salt now, salt and pepper. A salt comes in endlessly beguiling packages of marketing triumph, I sometimes think. Of the purity or the special nuances of flavour of a particular sea salt. But I think the same thing should happen to pepper. And certainly from talking to Jerome, I think they would welcome the price of pepper to go up to be commensurate with that of salt. Jerome took me to one of his favourite restaurants where they use ground campot pepper mixed with fresh lime juice, salt and a bit of sugar as a dipping sauce for their famous dish, lok lak. Here Viet, our macho chef, has marinated strips of beef in a mixture of sugar, oyster sauce, tomato puree, chilli, garlic, lime, a chicken stock cube and the ever-present MSG, of course before flash frying it over intense flames. This is a really tasty dish and a first for me. Marinating the meat like this makes it incredibly succulent and intensifies the flavor, and a dish I'm definitely going to make at home. As with many dishes in this part of Southeast Asia, it's never complete without the ubiquitous fried egg.